Hey everybody, it's Timo here. In today's video, we're gonna play on the most broken new patch fighter built with a longsword. I was told a number of times that longsword is not a good weapon, especially when it comes to offense, and um, it's only good when you get to parry people. So in today's video, we gotta figure that out. But before we get into the video, I want to remind you, only 5% of people who are watching my channel have subscribed, the rest didn't. Consider press subscribe button if you're interested in variety of broken builds and um, number of guides, because I also do make guides from time to time, especially if you're interested in learning sp specific niche um, of Dark and Darker, because this is also what my channel is based on. <laughs> Sorry for little uh, yap yap. We're gonna go back into today's video, and in today's video we're gonna play with a longsword, like I already mentioned before, and for today's build we're gonna run the specific, um, I would say, specific stats and with a specific build. So this is what we're gonna do. When you're gonna make a build, first thing first, rule number one, focus for around 45-50% physical damage reduction. Try to get around 280 plus move speed and uh, focus for 140 to 150 health. When you buy just regular um, blue and um, you know or purple items, the cheapest on the market, you're gonna find that um, they are actually quite cheap. And uh, once you buy the full set, you will actually realize that um, longsword fighters are actually very budget. This is what I noticed when I was fighting them. Like fighting longsword is a big threat because you never know when they're gonna parry you. But in today's video, we're gonna do something different. We're not gonna parry anyone like at all. We're gonna use this weapon as an offensive weapon, like I was told this is um, not the way to use it, and we're gonna do it the other way around. We're gonna test how truly OP the longsword really is as an offensive weapon, and we are not gonna parry anyone even once. We're not even gonna bother. We're gonna see how far the how, how strong, like how OP the left click of this weapon truly is. So basically for anyone curious, this is what my build, and I bought this kit for extreme budget, it's under 2000 gold, um, and then pretty much I started like with very budget gear, and then I made a bunch of upgrades. Well, I lost a couple of times as well, but this is part of the process, and but it doesn't change the fact that this, what we ended up getting. This is pretty much the full stash of cheese that we ended up getting in the process while playing, and I'm gonna show you, I'll try to show, I'll try to fit as many good clips as it's physically possible, how we were able to acquire all of this cheese. For anyone curious, I tried to fit in the best stuff that I could um, physically find, and I didn't sell none of the uh, items that were found in raid. Pretty much everything here is more or less half decent. I tried to um, not put anything here that is not. So basically... This is what we're gonna do in today's video. Well, anyway, let's hop into the game and let's go clap some cheeks. Usually, usually, if you go to the mid room, this is where you're gonna fight all the PvP. Speaking of PvP, we have a metal steps here. Interesting. Well, he has a crossbow while I have a survival bow, so we're gonna have a little bit of range game. This is the guy, by the way, that I saw in the pre-lobby. He has actually a bunch of decent items, and also his sword looks better than mine. This is unacceptable, and we would have to fix it. We would have to take him down and take his sword. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm still practicing playing with survival bow, I don't have much experience. In the current day and age, if you want to get good at this game, you do need to learn um, survival bow. At least you gotta get better at it, you gotta be pretty good, I would rather say. Because, for the most part, if you're playing on a fighter on a bard, you're gonna encounter a bunch of bullshit. And um, if you have a survival bow, you pretty much will be able to deal with literally anything. You just have to be good with survival bow, you know, simple as that. Not very good with it, but I'm practicing, you know, practice, make it perfect. And um, basically, here we have a good target practice. When I come across the bars, I always call them good target practice. <laughs> I mean, what else are they are other than um, good target practice? Honestly, honestly, playing with survival bow, it kind of takes away the vibe from the dark and darker. Because, like, it just feels like... Um, it doesn't feel right, you know. Just like I don't, I don't think that um, this weapon belongs in this game. But other than that, really, like it's. Uh, if this is what we have to deal with, well, you gotta get better at it. You know, there is no need to be upset about the meta. Instead, you just gotta learn it. You just gotta get better at it, and then you gotta go and fucking stump the kids who think they're good. 
<laughs> Boom, right in the face. I'm not happy with that. Oh, he's getting st oh, I, I got jubated. He fucking outplayed me. <laughs> it's okay, though. He outplayed me, brother. He closed the door. Now, this is what he's gonna do. He's gonna use that shrine and he's gonna reset. And we're gonna do it all over again. So, it doesn't really matter for me whether I have to shit on him once or twice or three times. You know, I'm fine with it. It's okay. Use all your bandages. Just a matter of time. For some reason, he decided to stop right here somewhere. Wait. He's... <laughs> My homie decided to actually stay here. Oh, well. Oh, my, another target practice. I'm getting better with Royal Boy, I feel like. Mm, I see the tech. I was like, damn, bro, this kids with Survival Bow were so good. Nah, it's not them, it's just the, the weapon is broken, simple as that. <laughs> well, I mean, he's kind of right about it, it's like... You play with survival bow, you're not good at this game. He's got a point, he's got a point, just listen. I know for a fact that I'm not very good, but I'm trying to practice, my homie. And you are my practice. You're one step before I get better, you know? The more he talks that um, I should not be using survival bow, the more I want to use it, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> but listen, how about we do this? How about we use the long sword? and stick it up his ass. I gotta throw some stuff that he think that um, I'm looting. Oh wow. Okay, well. He's good. <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine. He is not winning this. I'm not gonna let him win. It's like... He People who play with the long sword, they think if they're gonna hold aggressively right click, he's gonna win. But, um, you know, they forgot to actually... They learn how to parry, but they forgot how to play the game. <laughs> and this is the example of, uh, you know, those fucking longsword players. They learn how to parry, forgot to how to play, fucking quote of the day. Nah, no, for real, I'm like, come on, man. He called me bad, he got shit on, literally, by his own weapon. That he probably played for fucking hundreds of hours. <laughs> Holy fuck, this guy is geared! Jesus Christ! What have I done? Oh my god, bro! I own him in his own game in a budget gear! This is fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Yo! Brother! Brother! <laughs> this is a fucking joke. Oh my god, man, this homie is geared, hell yeah. Not gonna lie, this build struggles a lot against bars, but I guess um, you also gotta be a good bard to be a threat. Maybe this guy is good. Maybe he just, um, you know, playing on a new keyboard and mouse. Probably the reason why he failed this time. Well, might as well go extract, because we're doing pretty good on loot. Wait, I didn't check the bots. I completely forgot to check the bot. Let me let me fix this real quick. I call them parry bot, you know? <laughs> it's like all they know how to hold right click, that's all. Fucking their whole gameplay and play style. Oh, I'm so good at this game! I'm so good at this game! <laughs> oh my god, bro. Damn, the parry bot actually has some good. S oh, yo! Is the one sword looking better than mine? Remember the I said that in pre lobby? God damn, fucking homies juiced out, brother. You know, listen, gotta give. Oh, 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 hold on a minute, gotta take those. I decided to slightly sped up the process. Pretty much the um, gear set you will see in the end game. As for now, we're just gonna go and try to hunt more people. I've seen a very geared longsword fighter that I would definitely love to fuck with. It's abs. Oh, by the way, there is a rogue there. But mm, not this guy, though, not this guy. I'm interested in fighting longsword guy. That guy is a very high level, so I would assume he practiced lots of longsword. So far, this is my second longsword game. Gotta get better at it. I do absolutely love the fighters who are saying that, um, you know, longsword is horrible. <laughs> like, 
all they say is that oh man bro longsword is so fucking bad and they keep playing with it indefinitely i mean maybe it's not ideal but um definitely not bad i like it so far okay rogue seems like he's running the absolute fucking away okay he's gonna go there and close the door we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna go left. Ideally, ideally, all those mobs to the right gonna mm, body block the doorway. And I'm gonna have a chance opportunity to lock him out. That's one of the ways you can actually get them out of the game. Let's see if he's gonna walk back. I'm gonna camp here for a couple of seconds. Okay, we have a Bart here. Interesting. You guys, let's go pressure Bart. Okay. Mob still not at No, I wanna kill the rogue first. That guy seemed a little cheesy. I hope the rogue's somewhere in this area. Mobs are dead, so he's probably still here. Haha. <laughs> a rogue in the, the doorway right there. Only bots can actually land those hits in the doorway. I mean as a fighter. As a fighter, like it's actually not that hard to control the longsword, and I was told that basically the rogues is your biggest counter i mean maybe it is maybe we're gonna come across one of those rogues that will absolutely not give us a chance but hear me out hear me out most of the time if the rogue will perfectly land three hatchets on you he actually deserves it because um as a main rogue i could tell you that absolutely not easy and um out of like 12 times that i died to a rogue seven people got permanently banned well if something seems sus to you but um just report and basically the iron mace will decide whether or not the person is cheating so they just gonna fucking test you know files and stuff and if they find something sus well the person gonna get banned simple as that so pretty much people are cheating they're gonna get banned eventually just a matter of time so if you die and you feel like something iron right just report and forget about it and if the person is legit well he's not gonna get banned i like how powerful the longsword is it's like the ability to land headshots, the poke and attack, like, the weapon feels so freaking satisfying. I like it a lot. Mm hmm. Played guy here. Cleric. Okay. Let's go fuck with Cleric, I guess. I'm just interested in killing this guy first. Wait, it's a double fire here. Hold on. You bitch! Okay, well. Ow. He is good at parrying, I guess. But, um. Once we heal up, you can actually see that this guy is just another parry bot. I like to call them parry bots because they're not good at anything else. <laughs> like, no, for real. It's like. You can spot a parry bot from a mile away. Oh, Kidokin? Looks like this is the cleric that was healing. Let's fuck him up. Oh, what the fuck? I'm getting third fighted. It's fine. We should be able to handle this. Oh, he is fucking... Oh, bro! The beauty! The beauty! Why do I love the fucking parry bots? It's because all they do is they fucking parry. <laughs> and that's why the guy who would have fucking simply hit me one more time and killed me. He fucking suddenly decided to block my hits after all the fucking damage. Holy cow, bro, this is fucking ridiculous. It's like, the game sense does not exist. Fucking game sense zero, straight up. Ah, oh, fuck, I wish I could take that kill us. Alright, well, we have a heal shrine to the um, south uh, west, I believe. Oh no, south east. Also, we have another shrine to the north. How about I just heal up and go fuck the guy up? Sounds like a plan. I honestly thought that I need the second win, but I don't think I do. I feel like I will be able to fuck this guy up without second win. It's not needed. So wait, speaking. Uh, duel. This is not a duel, brother. This is an execution. And you are my little lamb here. <laughs> look at him, look at him, bro. Fucking... Perry Master! Wow! He can actually attack? Oh, I d oh my god, bro! Unbelievable! I thought he fucking didn't know that there is actually left click. Could you freaking imagine? I thought every longsword only comes with the right click, no left click for this guy. 
Apparently, they have it? Wow, bro, this is actually incredible. What the fuck is that gear? <laughs> this is a really weird combination, because it's sort of like... He got like... Ex weird, expensive pieces? That doesn't really make much sense. <laughs> what the fuck are those? Where did he get them? Holy cow. It's okay. The Perry bullets will learn how to play the game eventually. One day, one day they will learn that a right click isn't the only option. Left click is available. Press it at no cost. For free. This game is free to play, so is the left click for longsword, guys. My longsword homies. You can actually use left click, trust me, at no cost. Only for $9.99. I just bought another tab, because I thought it may be a pretty good idea that we get to sort out everything. I gotta find where the bard's kit is, the one that I got from the first game, but um, I'm gonna do it some other time. <laughs> Let's just go play for now. Interesting. Oh, this is the bard, looks like. Looks like a bard to me. Let's see. Ah, should've taken a shot, I guess. I'm bad with survival. Bull. <laughs> Bitch. It's fine. It's not that deep. I believe if you just left click, you can easily stat check a barb. Because you're a fighter with longsword. I've noticed one thing in particular people are really scared of fighting barbs. Um, when they're like, you know, full in resources. The only time when you don't want to fight a barb when you're like super low HP, when you're full health, you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Like, absolutely nothing. One more. Ah, he got fucking deleted. Literally got like slightly less than half of my health. I didn't use second win, I didn't use my sprint. Nothing. Didn't even use my bow, just fucking clap his chicks. Oh, he's actually... Holy cow, he's actually fucking geared, are you serious? Bro, I did not take him as a threat, in fact, he was not a threat. Longsword fire completely deletes barbs even without a parry. Just fucking a lot of health and you're good to go for the most of the time, you know? Just keep your distance and you got it. Um, some people may say, oh bro, but you could parry and do so much damage. I mean, if you're confident to parry, go for it. Hell yeah. If you get one parry off, that does just so much damage. There is one thing I noticed, there is actually quite a lot of players in the mid room. And usually, usually, if you want to find them, this is exactly where you should go. God damn, bro, my first fucking parry. That's so sick. Hell yeah. I gotta heal up a little bit. Actually, actually, like... Just with a longsword, you don't even need that much PDR. Like, I feel all the power. The attack animations, like, kind of pays off, you know what I mean? It's like, adds up all together and, um... Like, overall, it's actually pretty freaking good. I'm not sure what I like more. Combination of an armored sword with a shield, or just a long sword. Because um, it seems pretty nice to me, yeah, I'm gonna be honest. There's a shrine very close, I might as well go and use it. I would need to kill the mage, but it's not that deep. Not that big of a deal. Usually takes no more than two hits. Oh, we have another mob here. Okay, okay. What the heck is this guy doing here, brother? Alright. He interrupted my peaceful time with the shrine. My prayers were answered. Haha, <laughs> got my old HP back. All right, let's go around. Got a bunch of extra arrows. Not bad. Need to deal with this mob really quick. Wait. This is the guy. This is the geared guy, by the way. 
<laughs> you forgot to put on his fucking armor. Oh my god, bro. This is fucking ridiculous. I'm telling you, he literally forgot to put on his fucking armor. He stripped up while he was trying to chase someone in the lobby. I knew... I <laughs> he forgot to equip. <laughs> he forgot to equip fucking his pieces. This is fucking hilarious. You fucking... You can't make this up, bro. I'm telling you, you can't make this up. We have someone to my right here. Okay, dope. Okay. He hit my arms twice and one body hit and while I triple headshotted him. That's pretty much the only difference here. If he would headshot me three times, he would have probably be very close to killing me. But um, all he did was one body shot and two limbs hit. I wish we get into more fights, but uh, I think it's okay for one game. We'll go into the next one. We're also full on loot, so it's not bad. Probably like maybe 1500 gold, more or less. Interesting. <laughs> well, I mean, it's gonna be like that sometimes. You have another guy right there. He's behind the waist. He doesn't have much. Oh, it's okay. I'm not gonna complain. Miss. GG. Missed again. GG. Alright, right in the face. Not bad. Okay, he tried to transfer, but that didn't work. Not bad game. So far, so good. Ooh, purple spear. Oops, not mean that. We also got a couple of extra rings. Not bad either. Looks like we have a wizard here. Ah, I miss. It's okay. That was beautiful. I like the way the fireball looks. As long as it don't hit me. Oh, right in the face. Okay. Not bad. I think I had shot him like three times this fight. What the fuck is that? Mr. Rope. Oh yeah, he's probably not gonna be interested in fighting me that much. We'll see though, we'll see. Maybe he'll decide to ambush me. I like when rogues try to ambush me when I'm playing in a fighter. It's like... I can't get enough of those rogues. Probably... 1 out of 10 times where I actually died to a good rogue. Oh, what the fuck. Usually it's a uh, free gear. But sometimes, sometimes, you know, you get one of those rare occasions when the rogue will just simply fucking triple headshot you, not miss a single hit. When they do that, oh yeah, holy fuck, that is scary. But it's just super rare. This rogue, not feeling it, I'm telling you. He went in with somewhere, oh, he's that far, holy fuck. I shot him like five times with my bow, but he probably already healed up. He's a geared one, by the way. Oh, shit. Oh no, what am I supposed to do? Holy fuck. Jesus Christ, that is so scary. That was terrifying, by the way. I'm not 100% certain if that's the guy that I was talking about. It was um, a couple of really geared rogues. Oh yeah, this is the geared one. This is the geared one. Oh yeah, definitely the geared one. Yeah, pretty good cheese, I would say. Definitely not bad for a game. But if we come across anyone, we'll still go and fight that person. Okay, okay, not bad. Oh shit, where is the bar kit? Oh, no, 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 it's all good, it's all good. I forgot I stored it on my um, other class. I'm gonna drag it, like, after another good game. Because uh, I feel like we have uh, probably enough space for one, maybe two decent games. Alright, we have a fighter. Ah, uh, shit. We gotta get in comfortable position. Okay, so we have a fighter, we have a bard, we have a rogue. Everyone in the same fucking room. Question is... Who's gonna be the first one who will try to fucking get on my dick? <laughs> okay, so yep, this guy decided to come online. Just a matter of time before the barb will appear. Bitch, he decided to go on me. It's okay though. I'm not gonna complain. This guy has way better gear 
Fuck, man. I don't think I could stat check this guy, though. Honestly, if you come across Falchion, you might as well fucking pull a fucking... Stiletto out and just stab him to death. <laughs> but I don't think Longsword is a good weapon against Falchion at all. There is a quite a high risk that, um... You know, you will not be able to parry. And if you try to stat check a Falchion, usually the Falchion with the hitter shield will just do better than Longsword. But overall, Longsword is better than Falchion. Just not against Falchion, you know what I mean. So, yeah. I honestly wouldn't want to fight the Falchion guy really openly. Because he will be able to just attack me. I already experienced it. Unless, unless you want to risk it and go for a fucking 90% um, for 90 degree angle. Because if you want to parry a fucking Falchion, you gotta pretty much look... Well, not at 90 degrees... But like more like at 60 degrees to the left if the attack comes from the left. And um, around 60 degrees to the right if attack is coming from the right. But um, I decided not to really bother too much with parrying. So I'm not gonna even try to parry. I'm gonna still try to fight everyone with the left click. I've seen how once a guy was able to squeeze in through the floor by jumping on lantern. I'm gonna try to replicate that but I'm not sure if that's gonna work. Uh, I don't think... Fuck it. I'll just use elevator. Unless I figure out how the fucking glitch works. I'm just gonna use elevators. <laughs> but yeah, imagine you're just walking around and boom, the fucking guy pops up. Right fucking from the floor below. It's actually gonna be hilarious. There's one thing I'm genuinely surprised about is that a barb is not interested in... Completely not interested in fighting me. Like, I seen early on a barb. And it looks like the barb is not really committed... But rogue is. Yep, that's the rogue. This is also a geared rogue, by the way. Not the fastest one, but a geared one. There is two very geared rogues. This is one of them. Ah, fuck, I wish I would land that shot. But anyway, not the best royal ball player, but um, we're getting better, you know what I mean? He went somewhere here. Holy shit! Oh, I'm fucking whiffed hard. It's fine. One more hit. Okay. I was just like his head open. Wonder how many headshots that was just a one or two. This one was a tanky one. This one was like fucking 140 health with a lot of PDR. So I, yeah, I did some fucking real damage. So I would assume I headshotted him twice. Not just once, but twice. Oh yeah, this is the cheesy guy. A lot of health. Good chunk of PDR. Yeah, he put health everywhere. Haha, <laughs> fucking tankiest rogue alive or something. Big boy. We have a guy right here to my right. Oh man, I'm losing this. We have a guy right here to my right. Let's lock him out. Maybe they get to fight or something. That would be nice. I really hope nobody gonna come across this area. Because fuck, without a second wind that would absolutely suck. There's also one very geared rogue that I absolutely love to fuck with. You fucking kidding me. Oh, we gotta push some pressure. This is the guy I was talking about by the way. Fucking ridiculous joke. Enjoy the dagger, piece of shit. <laughs> oh man, I wish I had another second win. Oh well. This guy is also geared. Fuck, bro. Oh man. It's okay. We're just gonna heal up. It's not that big of a deal. I do want to kill the rogue though. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh man, this guy's just gonna squeeze in and this guy... Does not want to fight me. He treats me like I'm a massive fucking threat. Like this fighter guy is fucking genuinely scared of me. Hmm? Well, let's go fuck with the rope. He went into this, I guess. Wait. What the fuck is this, bro? Shit. 
We have army mobs here. Gotta heal up here. Ace up. No. Fuck. Shit. Oh well. Just what it is. This guy got stripped down. Got nothing left. I wonder who did though. Was it um Nah, hundred percent that was a falcon fighter for sure. There's also a druid. Might as well go fuck with him a little. These couple days I killed so many fucking druids, it's actually ridiculous. Like dozens. Mm, a little opportunistic, I'd say. <laughs> ah, too far, too far. It's okay. Well, we might as well take extract. At least we looted one geared guy. Our stash is like almost filled up. Not sure if I will be able to fit in. Oh, look, there's the guys coming. Oh no. Bro, there's not enough time. It's fine, I'm gonna take rings at least. No, I couldn't even loot. No, I couldn't even loot. Fuck. So far, so far, we already filled up the full inventory of, um, the full stash, I would say. And, um, even though I don't need much loot, I still want to go and fuck around with people a little bit. <laughs> there is a guy right there. Okay. Oh, he's not feeling it. Oh, he's definitely not feeling it. Oh, he is not happy. Bro. The guy's getting owned straight up. Nah, I'm not catching up to him. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, that hurts a little. This is not the guy that I want to kill, though. There is a super gear droid. Oh, you. What the fuck is that shit? Jesus Christ. Where the fuck this guy came from? He's like one shot. Aw oh, man, fucking druid. This guy is a super geared one. I just gotta heal up real quick. Okay. So far, I don't remember dying even once to a druid. Okay. Wow, that did way more damage than I would think. I fucking slide his head open. He's like one more headshot before he's gonna die. But um, not today. We gotta go and heal up. Oh, by the way, if anyone curious, I'm running super budget gear. Like, very, very budget. Something that I would absolutely not give any fucks about. Majority of the items are greens and a um, couple super garbage purples. Oh, look, there is a barb and a druid. I feel like my whole kit is like under a thousand gold or something. But uh, I didn't even pay anything for it. I took it off people. Wait. Did the druid kill somebody already? He didn't go right, he went left. Gotta kill this druid, he's super fucking geared. That's like gonna be such a big payoff if I get to kill him. I feel like I stand a chance to kill him. No. This guy is not very good. <laughs> okay. Gotta aim higher. Oh well, it's okay. This guy sounds very disappointed. <laughs> I'm whole fucking horrible with a survival bow. It's fine. 
I'm gonna get him. Fucking no matter what, I'm gonna get this guy. Oh, the bear. <laughs> Bro, I really killed up my brain for a quest, you fucking dog sucker. What are you doing? Oh shit! Yo. I promise you, promise you can't kill me. He said he promised he can't kill me? Wow. <laughs> he made it fucking personal. <laughs> nah, this guy is a child. And you know what I like to do? There is absolutely nothing more satisfying than making a mad kid upset. I gotta zone in. This guy is talking shit. I can't get enough of it though. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, if this game makes you so fucking upset, maybe just fucking do something that makes you happy. Because the way this guy sounds is like fucking, he's definitely not enjoying it. Oh, right in the face. Holy cow. He's not feeling it. Listen, no matter what, if I get him killed, my mission fucking accomplished. Like, I completely don't give a shit what happened next. Even if I get fucking third, fourth, fifth parties, don't give a shit. I'm gonna fucking get this guy no matter what. He was here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Okay. First step. He got the moose. Ow, I got a hit. Oh no. I gotta heal up a little. Ooh. Nice move, buddy. And that was a horrible move, by the way. <laughs> fucking get shit on. Fucking bot. Kept talking shit the whole fight. Got owned. Aw oh, man, we have a barb here. Bro. Oh shit, I completely forgot I have a second win. Fuck. Okay. Headshot. He's not feeling it. I heard him a little. Shit, I should have backed off. Ah, oh, man. I think he has like 10 health or something. Let's see. I hit him hard. I hit him. Oh, fuck me, brother. But it doesn't really matter. But you know what does? I ruined that kid's game. And this is what's matter, you know. This is what's fucking important. And that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, by the way, I forgot to show what I ended up getting. We end up getting way too fucking much. Actually, fucking ridiculous. Let's go check what's up really quick. Alright, so... Even though I got slightly dicked on by that barp at the end. Which I still put up a really good fight. I just completely forgot that I had the second win. Now that I think of it, I could actually win that if I just simply backed away and uh, fought him when I was at full HP. But oh well, mistakes are made. And also I was running extreme budget gear. So pretty much this is what we end up getting. There is a whole bunch of shit. I'm gonna quickly show you one piece at a time so that you get to see if it's valuable or not. Some of this is good, some of this is not as good. But majority of it is actually quite decent. Majority of rings have um, the right attributes and majority... Pretty much every pair of boots have additional move speed. Um, I try not to bring... Actually, even this pair have double move speed attribute. Pretty good. Um, so far, so far, we made way, way more than we lost. I died a couple of times. Once I died to Withered, well, which is your natural counter. The other time I died um, to this guy. And pretty much I'm gonna play more. And I want to test it out this build in the future. But already off stream a little bit. Or off of the YouTube video. But anyway, I'm gonna be honest. I really enjoy playing with the Longsword. And um, I had a fucking blast. I'm gonna be honest. It's like fucking the Longsword is beautiful. Straight up really good weapon. I'm not sure why people do complain about it so much. And uh, the thing is, I 
don't even know how to parry. I'm a complete bot when it comes to parrying stuff. Like, I'm actually fucking horrible at it. But uh, it doesn't change the fact that uh, if you can manage to practice it long enough to be able to be good at it, oh boy, the longsword could be an absolute fucking threat, even if you bring just green items. Anyway, with this, the video gonna come to an end. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Um, And anyway, it's Timo, and I'll see you in the dungeon. Peace out.